Infinite Tarot 888. This message is for Pisces. Now, you could have Pisces anywhere in your chart. And Pisces, look at this smoke. It's almost like the smoke is starting to clear up. And as I was meditating, praying to the Most High, this card fell out. And they wanted me to address it. It did fall on the floor, but it says energy level. And this is 2121. Now, that's 33. Three. So some of you guys could be seeing the number 33. Or you can be 33 years old. It's 33 as I say it right now. And look, could be it could be something to do with your twin flame, 1111. A wish that has to become true or will come true. Now let's put that to the side because they wanted me to focus on those two. Okay, that's it. So 2121, it says, prosperity, harmony, journey, waiting. Hmm. You may be waiting on your journey for something, is what I'm picking up. And, it, and it's almost like this journey with waiting is teaching you discipline, okay, extermination, and the opposite sex. So maybe there's something with you having the patience, Pisces. Now, you could be dealing with the Virgo, because that's your one seven, your opposite. Mm-hmm. And it says, the day you're waiting for will come. Maintain discipline. You'll, you're getting closer to your end goal. There's no need to overextend yourself. Guard your energy to remain focused. Your energy to remain focused. It will pay off. It's a climb, not an elevator ride trust in you and as i was reading that energy i gotta say it like it is because that's what they don't want me to hold back you have this end goal i'm trying to figure the ways okay they want me to say it the way it is it's almost like there was somebody that wanted you to struggle financially. And there's this thing about waiting. Because for a lot of you guys, when I felt that, it's almost like... Like you ready to slap the shit out of somebody or just if you're a man, you ready to punch the shit out of somebody and the universe is saying, hold up, have the discipline. <laughs> Now it has somebody, it has to do with somebody that really betrayed you. And your silence is driving them fucking crazy. And some of you guys are like, fuck them with love. You're fucking telling them to go fuck themselves, but with love, you're understanding how you send that energy. For a lot of you guys in the spirit realm, there's something major going on before it hits here. So there's a beat down going down up there in the spiritual world. They want me to hold off on that because they are scared as shit. It's your energy. Some of these folks could be heartbroken because your energy is not, you're not talking to them. You're keeping your energy and some of you guys keep calling your energy because they're poking at it in the spirit realm. They're just poking at it. They're sending you this energy. Now, for some of you guys, you don't want to forgive them. And I'm hearing, fuck them, motherfucker. <laughs> and you're saying at the end with love because you're trying to let go of this anger. If this is not you, Pisces, if this is not resonating with you, this could be somebody you know that's going through this situation because some of you guys could have tried to help this person and you're wondering why are they so distant? That's what they're going through. This is not resonating with you. It will resonate maybe on a different level because it's someone maybe that you had or wanted a relationship and you're watching them go through this. But they're a little bit on the isolation. You're giving them the space, in other words. This could be a person towards you, that energy. And maybe you the one that's scared as shit. Maybe you the one that needs to apologize. However it may resonate. They're telling me to t say it like that. Some of you guys, I'm just guilty by association or something, but you would know. It says 11-11. They want me to go into this. It says, wish come true. 
Some of you fuckers are just wishing that the divine will kick the shit out of them. Don't lie. Put it in the comments because for a lot of you guys, you've been patient. I mean, let's keep it real. You've been patient. You're like, God, if you let me deal with this. And God's like, no, wait. And this is where patience and the journey of waiting and being disciplined. Because remember, you got free will. No. Pisces, hold on. There's no doubt that you can, a lot of my Pisces, there's no doubt that you can handle it. You got number eight, nine, eight. For some, this is something you're going to break this pattern. Maybe this was an infinite loop of where you were kicking, getting your revenge, taking it in your hands. And this time, you're allowing the universe to do that. <laughs> keep falling off my somebody keeps slipping or you're gonna catch somebody slipping is what i'm hearing but meditation they want you to be patient it says meditation flowing self-realization and manifestation gateway and taking action so any of those may participate for you maybe you need a little more meditation to get the clarity rub your third eye cleans it out a little bit you know Damn, if you got to get some lotion, you know, clear out. I've got my wrinkles here, but, you know, God, but open up that third eye. Relax. Align your chakras. It's going to bring you so much clarity. When it comes to patience, patience, ten paciencia. Don't let that energetic of you trying to take this, you know, whatever you got going on with somebody. Because for somebody... It's no secret. They scared that shit from you. And that's not what you want. For a lot of you guys, it was the disrespect in the way they did you. And we understand that, okay? We, that, hmm, call back your energy. Because for, for some of you guys, I, they want me to say, someone is just running straight into their karma. So they want you to pull your energy back. It's sooner. It's really close. A lot of you guys, you're being tested. Okay, anyways, let me carry on. It says you're in for a lucky break. I'm telling you, this person that fucked you over, whether it was a sibling or a spouse or somebody within your family, because I'm here in family unit, they're about to walk straight into fucking karma. It could be a fucking lion, a beast. And you know what? In the Bible, it talks about, you know, it's not, we're not talking just about a Leo. This is somebody falling straight into the devil's den. Tear their fucking ass apart is what I'm hearing. So you might you might fall into this lucky break, whether it be you watching them. Because for a lot of you guys, you told these people, les dijites, los van a chingar. But it's your time to usa and just be in a different area. It says, it may come as a happy news, experience, new opportunities, or an excitement acquaintance. You will find yourself in the right place in the right time. It is not a coincidence, but a gift from fate. So that's you being at the right place at the right time, getting this gift from the universe, whether it's winning the lotto, whether it's getting this new job, whether it's just fuck, finding this new love. And you have that other person back there going, fuck, here they come trying to make amends with you. And bam, they look and they're like, holy shit, Pisces done moved on. Pisces done got this. And for a lot of you guys, you're just going to be at the right place at the right time when you look around. Man or woman, they're getting their ass beat. And you're like, shit, I ain't, I ain't supposed to be around you. And for some of you guys, if you have, they want me to specifically say, if somebody put a restraining order, there ain't shit you can do. They're going to get their ass whooped. And you'll be like, yo no me puedo rimar. Tingue su madre con mucho amor. And that's part of what? <laughs> of a blessing you're going to see. Because for some of you guys, they might have talked shit about you to a point where they really, you wouldn't have put up with that bullshit. You wouldn't even call them because this is real close to you. Real close. Let's get three cards for my Pisces. I mean, shit, there's the whole reading for a lot of you guys. Look at this. The first card you have, the Seven of Swords. 
Look at this with the Ten of Cups. And they want me to put it in that order. Okay, this is you. And the way I'm reading this card, it's not about the meaning. I'm just what I'm picking up. This is you coming, waking up from the dead. And it's like, damn, I've been in this freaking cycle this many years. And it could be seven years. You're like, fuck, I'm finally out of here. And and even if things weren't going your way, like we talked about in the opening session is what I'm hearing. You have this Ten of Cups, okay? The Ten of Cups is like the present moment. Because this could be the past. It's like, damn, estaba muerto. Nobody knew about me. And then we do have the, the Six of Swords. Let me put it to the side, okay? But let's see, what else? What's for the future? Too many cards. You, you coming out the dead, and it's almost like you want to speak your mind. Look at this. The Eight of Swords for the future. Oof. But remember, it came out with this. So these two are going to resonate together. That's what they said. At the bottom of the deck, you have Five of Swords with the Temperance. And what did I say? 11-11, as I say that, for a lot of you guys. The universe. This is going to be you. Right here. Having a drink, watching somebody get their ass fucking whooped. Two people that came up against you. You're healing. And for a lot of you guys, there's something to do with the Aztec. There's this healing. And look, this is somebody you're going to say, you know what? Fuck it. I can't. You might have had a lot of love for this particular person at one point and a lot of emotion. Look at the blue. And you may be still having a little bit of love. But you know what? You're standing here. And this is what you're looking for. A lot of you guys, you know what? You told bye to this particular person. Le que adios. Inga tu madre y a tu familia. That's like, fuck you and your family. With love. And you you, you don't curse yourself. Because you say it with love. At one point, you you won't even curse at them. You just say, ah, vete la chingada. But that's you moving forward. And you're going after your pentacles. Okay, okay. Do we need to resonate anything else? Because it's 12 to 2 when I said that. Do we really need to? Let's see. What was the true intentions in the past? Some of you guys want to know. We're going to pull three cards because some of you guys are coming. <laughs> You're coming out of the that You did in the past. Maybe they, they hit you with a low blow. An unexpected. Unexpected. And, and maybe you're looking back at memories like, damn, this bitch actually sweet talked to me, but I have mass regrets. But why? Why? Why do you have these memories? You really could have cared for this particular person is what I'm hearing. And a lot of you guys, you're being pushed in a different direction. And you kind of, maybe in the past, I'm telling you, some of you guys could have went to jail. Some of you guys could have had a near-death experience. A lot of you guys were just in a lot of spiritual warfare. It could have seemed like you could have, like you were walking dead. You might have asked this particular person for help. And they... You were, you were dead to them. They left you for dead is what I'm hearing. <sighs> Pisces, why do you got to come up with these readings? Look, so you're waking up in the past after all this bullshit. Even though you had good memories, look, you closed the cycle. And yes, did it break your freaking heart? A huevos, it freaking broke your heart. A lot of you guys didn't have closure because you're coming out of a coffin. This bitch didn't give you a closure, man or female. Look, you just losing sleep. Mm -hmm. Worried. You were worried about this. And maybe you were worrying about where they were heading. Because a lot of you Pisces, if this isn't you, this is your other person could have been warning you. Or you could have been warning this particular person. Hey, esto va a pasar. This is going to be happening. But you know what? They chose to go a different route. And this is where the universe was telling you. Deja que todo juegue. Let everything play out. Okay, so it says running, so you let them run, whether they ran with somebody else or they ran, you know, with their plan of action of success, succeeding or the way they fucked you over is what I'm hearing or the way they, they betrayed you. You just let them run with it. You said, all right, good deal. And for a lot of you guys, if this was a business, if this was a relationship, and I, I heard earlier something with restrictions, okay? Maybe they put false 
allocation. They put false. Uh, if it was the mix of violence, is what I'm hearing. They put false accusation. This kind of, if this was during COVID, it could have pushed you in a position where you, you had to go on a high, you know, do your high hustle. For a lot of you guys, they affected your high. Man, they don't even want me to talk about it. Your high. Your side hustle. <laughs> Anyways. This is a secret. This is something you had. This is something you they weren't supposed to bring out. Maybe they ran to the police. I don't know, but it affected your high, your side hustle. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying high, but anyways, let's go to, to the Ten of Cups. Why? Why are they hating on you, okay? Why? What's the deal with Pisces person or people that, that you had to close on? Why are they hating on Pisces, huh? Pisces, that's too many that you want to talk already because they wish. What is their wish? What is it? Something about a wish. They're hating on you because of a wish. Wish. What did you wish for, huh? What did you wish for? Okay, this one came out. Spiritual gifts. Oh, my God. Look. Ando bien mocoso, so somebody's crying, you know, because I'm kind of, my buggers are coming out. But they're pissed. A lot of you guys could have been, look, been dealing with a narcissistic prick or biatch that didn't want you to advance. Look, what they're keeping secret is you could have told them. This is, this is somebody that goes from, from being in a position maybe in the, Getting money in a different way, wanting to switch. Maybe you got a calling. For a lot of you guys, this was going to switch your whole life around. The light just came on, hold up. And maybe you was living this party life. Maybe you were dealing with reckless sex. Maybe, Pisces, this could be the other person you're dealing with. And then you come across a person that really wants you. And they want to keep you at all means, you know, at all means. And they start to use this. Now, Pisces, for some of you guys, this, if you was married to this particular person, they knew what they was getting into. They knew the lifestyle. They just didn't want this to end, you know, whatever money was coming in. So they might have started to do this love spell. Una madre de amor, de chorizo, para que no entre por otro lado, pero se le, le estaba fallando, man or woman. And for a lot of you guys, this, you might have met somebody that you wanted to pop the question to, that the secret might have came out, and it could have been like a high, high, you know, side person, side chick. And it's almost like this particular person that came into your life, Pisces, either you or that person, this changed. And they saw the spiritual gifts coming, but they were like, well, I don't know if I'm going to let Pisces move on because they were feeling like shit, but they didn't do shit to keep you either, Pisces. They closed out this cycle with no closure, and they were thinking that by doing that, you were going to come back begging. Because you guys were bumping heads, you know, and they know they, they probably had a GPS. This could have been your divine person. Or this is how they saw you as the being queen, the king, ding -a -ling, whatever. Because look, GPS, they could have seen you as the gran pito service, you know, the big, big energy, you know, woman or man. And they were like, man, this fucker, whether he's by himself or she's by himself, he's still living in the moment, chilling. And this is a person, when I see this card right here, this is man or female. This is you kicking your fucking feet up anywhere. Anywhere you go, you could be living in the hood. You could be living in a mansion. You could be living on a beach. You could be living in the fucking park. But you are in, I mean, completely. Things come to you easily and effortlessly, como sea. So this is somebody that's keeping up, what's keeping up with you, like I said. 
If it's not, they were just, like I said, it's just you carry this energy, this gran people service energy, this big dick energy, man or female, you just carry it wherever you go. And there's a person that is feeling like this. This is in the current, current, current moment, okay? So what do we have for you in the future? Because we know they, yeah, they mandaron a la chingada. And this is what they were jealous. For a lot of you guys, you don't even know how to meditate, but you, you just get out there and you say, all right. And, and look, I'm going to give you guys a secret. When you guys meditate, clean out your mind. Todo, todo. And try to put your fucking foot here and the other one over here, however you can, you know. And sit down and just watch. I want you to picture this number eight like this. As you breathe in, breathe out, tap that third eye. So that way you'll see those lights going like this. Tap it and clean out all the negative energy and just watch that eight like this. And as you watch that, as you meditate, because look, this is very important. Your spiritual gift, your man is. And I want you to let go as you go to the left. I want you to let go of what hurts, pain. And as you're coming around, I want you to think of what you want. The love, the gushy, the sexual, the ooh, everything, the powerful energy. And then when it's coming back out, let go of it. Anything you don't want and replace it. Try that practice, okay? So in the future, in the future, this card came out together. Remember, this one was first. And this one now, going and walking into the future, Pisces. You have the Eight of Swords. You have the, all the power to get the fuck out of any mental bullshit. And if you decide to sit there and there's fucking swords around like in the traditional. <sighs> Pisces, I don't know if this is you, Pisces. Put it in the comments. Because <sighs> I'm getting good Pisces, bad Pisces, somebody that you know where their sibling, a spouse, however it's going to resonate with you. But see, in this card right here, this is the wands. This is you cutting out six. This is like you cutting out the bullshit and with passion. And the way these swords look, it's like you get this fucking power to direct your energy and you take the eight swords and you go after <laughs> this motherfuckers that actually caused you this energy. And you're going to heal. Now, this is already happening in the spiritual realm. And this is could be, <laughs> this could be just an ancestor up there. Somebody that has a lot of heart for you. This is just you. Just watching in the spirit realm going, all right, God, you said you was going to handle it. Orale, tapo, dale. And it's happening. So we're going to tap a little bit into this energy, okay? Pisces, real quick, because 21, 21 is going to be um, very important for you guys. For some of you guys, you could have been born on the 21st. I'm hearing Why am I hearing March 21st? I don't know if that's still Pisces. Either way, March 21st or March 12th. Hmm. For some of you guys, you have a grandmother that's deceased that passed through, that was born on March 11, and that's why 11 11 came out. He protects you. Oh, yes, she has spiritual, a lot of spiritual. Um, poder, yes. All right, look at this bumping heads and fake business. Oh, so you may be dealing with somebody. <laughs> All right, Pisces, for some of you guys, you're bumping heads with somebody that put you in debt. Unemployment. And bad credit. This particular is person is fake as fuck and their business. Maybe they took a business from you. And for some of you guys, this is it. This is a sibling that tore their whole legacy apart out of jealousy. And now they're feeling this right here. They're not happy because the universe is going to come and you know, cut that veil. Expose them is what I'm hearing. And there, look, anxiety. And for a lot of you guys, in the future, this was somebody that it pertained to love. Mira, 
and they could have did spell work, that shit is bouncing back. And you're you're not going to be with this particular person that did spell work on you. To hold you, to keep you, to attract you. Fuck you is what you're saying because you're understanding where your heart belongs. Mm -hmm. And you're moving forward and this is what you got coming. Because a lot of you guys are fed up with this bullshit. I'm going to change. For a lot of you guys, they just the secret behind this is they, if you're a male, maybe even a female, because I, I feel some females here that got that, mm, got that power with that high, with that side hustle. But for a lot of you guys, the men, they, the secret that you're finding out is this person really turned you over to the feds and your friends, I'm hearing. So you don't even got to worry about it. Some of you guys, your friends are going to take care of it. So I don't know who this message is for, but you have one last, one last question. Florecitas de las flores, por donde andas? I don't know who is that for, but let's see. What do you have for Pisces, sun, moon, rising? I only need one. <laughs> Look, it says right here, and they, this is the one they guided me to. It says. There are people who dislike you because you don't dislike yourself. Mm -hmm. Keep that self-love. It says, this is true. The biggest revenge we can have on people who judge us is to love ourselves hard. And for really, reals, and for reals. Some people are going to talk shit about you simply because you are shining bright as fuck. Shine on. That's what I have for you, Pisces. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, claim this energy. Look at this. I'm telling you, do that and do that figure eight when you meditate. Yes. And, and say your affirmations as you do it. I am. Beautiful. I am gorgeous. Soy chingón, soy chingona. Soy amor. Amor viene para mí fácil. Love comes to me easily and effortlessly. And look, it says, don't let someone change who you are to become what they need. And a lot of you guys are dealing with that. It said, it's all part of the plans. And there could be an Aries behind this shit. Ooh, and I'm grabbing my nose because ya sabes. It says, pay attention to your friend slash family around your partner. And some of you guys found that out. You might have called them out. Pobrecitos, como les va? I think the Leon is going to get them. It is, it is very important. Don't ignore your intuition. If they want to, let, let their, I don't know, but something about that. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. Don't forget to hit the like button and, and share, subscribe, comment, claim this energy. Infinite Tarot 888.